objective of these operations is to protect Goma and Saki. We decided to, in the first step, to establish a strong defensive line in front of Goma and Saki. It's a defensive approach for this moment. Of course, if some illegal armed group try to attack Saki or Goma, we will change our posture to defensive to offensive one. But about an offensive operation conducted by FRGC against M23, in this case, uh, we have to talk about that and we have to plan it because, uh, as you know, we have many other measures on the table, political one, diplomatic one, try to solve this problem in a peaceful way. The Forces Armées de la République Démocratique du Congo estime que la décision prise par la MONISCO est une décision vraiment importante, mais aussi euh, réfléchie. Il est important, très important. The United Nations Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Congolese Army FRDC have formed a joint military force to defend the strategic towns of Sake and Goma from being captured by M23 rebels. Our main objective is to stop any attempt by the M23 to invade Sake and Goma, said Monusco Force Commander Brigadier General Otavio Rodriguez de Milanda Philho during a joint MONUSCO FRDC press briefing this Friday. Our troops are deployed throughout the region and if ever armed groups approach these towns, MONUSCO and the FRDC will defend the civilian population, he emphasized. For months, clashes between armed groups have taken place in the territories of Masisi, Puchuru and Nilagongo. These recent fighting have caused the displacement of around 300,000 people. The United Nations estimates that in total to date, nearly 1 million people in North Kivu have been displaced by the current conflicts. These conflicts represent a major threat to access for humanitarian aid and to displaced people who have found refuge in sites located on the outskirts of Goma, said Otavio. During this joint meeting with the press attended by the governor's military spokesperson, the force commander recalled that rebels are currently advancing towards the south along the national road to and uh, from Provincial Road 1030 towards Saki, a city which is intended to be an essential point in the defense of Goma. Otavio emphasized MONUSCO's commitment to working with the Congolese National Army to protect civilians from armed groups in accordance with its mandate. The UN general added, we decided first of all to establish a solid defense line at the entrance of Goma and Saki. This is a defensive approach for now, but if illegal armed groups try to attack Saki and Goma, we will move from a defensive to an offensive position. The general, however, stressed that other measures are already planned. These include political and diplomatic solutions to solve this problem peacefully. We must also try to use these other methods to find a peaceful solution to these conflicts. The spokesperson for the military governor of North Kivu, also spokesperson for the 34th military region, Lieutenant Colonel Gilome Ndijike Kaiko, emphasized the importance of collaboration between MONUSCO and the FRDC for the total success of the Operation Springbok. He continued, the FRDC believes that the decision taken by MONUSCO is a really important and a thoughtful decision because MONUSCO knows well the enemy in front of us, the M23. This enemy has already caused a lot of harm to the population, to the region, and also to the DRC. Lieutenant Colonel DGK insisted on the need to collaborate in order to maximize all chances 
for the success of the operation. What's important here for us is the way of carrying out operation in a joint manner. We suppose we have a common enemy. Congo recently directed MONUSCO to leave DRC by the end of this year over its failure to counter militia groups, including M23 rebels in the eastern part of the country. MONUSCO's decision to take part in defensive and offensive operations against M23 rebels could be aimed at demonstrating its relevance in the conflict zone as Kinshasa calls for the its exits. This operation is to protect Goma and Saki. We decided to, in the first step, to establish a strong defensive line in front of Goma and Saki. It's a defensive approach for this moment. Of course, if some illegal armed group try to attack Saki or Goma, we will change our posture to defensive to offensive one. But about an offensive operation conducted by FRGC against M23, in this case, uh, we have to talk about that and we have to plan it because, uh, as you know, we have many other measures on the table, political one, diplomatic one, try to solve this problem in a peaceful way. The Force Armée de la République démocratique du Congo estime que la décision prise par la MONISCO est une décision vraiment importante, mais aussi euh, réfléchie. Il est important, très important, que nous puissions donner une chance à la réussite.